Let's go. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Nimbus. And we are here today, and we are going to check out... That totally makes no sense. Apparently, I can't speak. It's been a while since I've been in front of a camera. Reason is in itself, but whatever. Okay, but today we are going to check out the gameplay trailer for Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, I think they announced this game last year, something like that. And we really didn't see anything much from it until recently. Uh, so let's check out this gameplay. I have my suspicions that it's kind of like um, Sekiro. I could be wrong. I'm just going back from what I saw prior. Okay. So let's check this out. All right, guys. So what you guys didn't see is that I had a bit of technical difficulties. I was getting no audio out of my Elgato, but I got it working after like 15 minutes of trying to figure it out, but we figured it out. All right. So let's, let, let's hit play now. It should be freaking bloody and gory. Oh, sweet audio. Sweet audio. Trust me, I was going crazy. Because I had no damn audio. Alright. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. We Sucker have a Punch. lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat. Tsushima? I thought it was to, uh, Tsushima. Modes. So it's Tsushima. First, let's take a look at how I totally was pronouncing that wrong. The world of Tsushima. So it's Shu Tsushima. Not Tsushima. I think Tsushima sounds better, but whatever. Tsushima. So it's Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. Exploring Tsushima. So let's see if this is going to be like Sekiro. Okay. I'm intrigued. Samurai with a cape. He's a superhero samurai. Since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Yes, yes. Whoa. That's the map? Is this open world like that? Is this like a a, a samurai uh um what's it called um Red Redemption? Is this like a samurai version of Red Dead Redemption? Kind of like uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild-ish? So you could just travel. Oh, of course, yeah, a horse just shows up. Okay, so far, because of the horse, very Red Dead Redemption-ish. Ish. So you can just travel. It's completely open world. Just go. Wow. Okay. I I I like what I'm seeing. If you notice, I'm I'm looking at my my other screen just to make sure that everything's okay. Because legit, I was like 15 minutes trying to fix this. So you collect bamboos. It's very Breath of the Wildish. Was the wind guiding you? Wow. The guiding wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game. Oh, so the like wind is guiding you. Taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your like. eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no 
what do you call this horse? Nobu? Nobu? I could have heard that wrong. Yagata. Yagata. Forest. Okay. Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. All right. Okay. So you just pick Let's up go, shit, just like in Breath of the Wild. You just pick up items and stuff. Which is pretty dope. Explore abandoned buildings to collect rare resources, I think it said, because it kind of cut off before I even read it. So, okay. So this is completely open world. You literally go where you want to go. You can follow the wind if necessary, if that's what you choose to do. Or you could just do, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a shit ton of side missions. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like foresting and crafting and a whole bunch of craziness just like every typical open world game like red dead redemption and breath of the wild honor the shrine so the forest i mean not the forest the fox is your friend he shows you two shrines you have to unlock the shrines okay Interesting, interesting. So you Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just a fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Well, okay. I am legit intrigued by this game. It's like Breath of the Wild and, and Red Dead Redemption. People are gonna eat this shit up. Wow. Jin the Samurai. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Uh, no duh. Now we just showed you some exploration. You're not gonna be from another company. Check out some combat. Okay, combat. Let's let's see the combat. ever seen a samurai movie you know what to expect fighting and warriors cutting heads off up, and blood splatter go to make the first <laughs> move fighting. are we gonna see that oh i like how the screen just yeah what he said oh yeah we got the blood splatter of course we gotta have it. The samurai thing, man. We need to see that blood go whoosh. Whoosh. Oh man. As you can see, the I like he. I like it a lot. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted okay. energy. Every strike must count. Like a true samurai. Ooh, in la cabeza. Oh, he just blocked the arrow with the sword. Oh, no, that's badass. Okay, the combat. Okay, the game itself is very Red Dead Redemption. Very uh, Breath of the Wildish, but Samurai. 
Uh, but the combat has a lot of Sekiro in it. This is not a bad thing at all. That is dope. Oh, he wiped off the blood. He went whoosh with the blood. Oh, he paid his respects to the people that he killed. Like a true samurai. Jin the ghost. Jin the samurai, Jin the ghost. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, what? he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. Wait, even what do you mean? Using fear as a weapon. Wait, 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 what? So is he a samurai or a ninja? I'm confused. So you get to choose what in the daytime you're a samurai and the nighttime you're a ninja? That's kind of weird because samurais and ninja are usually at all with each other. So it's kind of weird that a person is both samurai and ninja. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying I've never seen it before. Okay, I'm I'm intrigued. I don't know if that's what it is if in the daytime in the daytime you're a samurai and in the nighttime you're a ninja, very Jekyll and Hyde ish. He's <laughs> they're afraid of you. No honor whatsoever. He was unarmed. He's definitely not a samurai now. I'm very intrigued by this. So this part, when you're a ninja, you're very stealthy, very Assassin Creed-ish. There's a lot of elements in this game, which is a good thing. Very brutal. Hold to ignite. So he's gonna bring all their attention there. Or is he trying to break into somewhere? Oh, he's just gonna torch the ship. Okay, they gotta explain that. They have to explain what it is. In the daytime, he's a samurai. In the nighttime, he's a ninja. Cause see, daytime ninja. You might I mean, samurai. That while fighting as the samurai, or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. Yes. That's because Very much the so. armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not oh, just dope. the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen play style. As you explore the world, you'll discover. Omamori charms. They'll give you or do you an choose? edge in battle. Do you choose to play as a samurai or as a ninja? Forms, 
you'll develop all new techniques which transform hmm. Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. Oh, that's dope! So even if you were to get the same thing, you could change it to the color you want, finding the dye flowers. wouldn't be a sucker punch game if it didn't have photo mode okay. in our new photo mode we have features such as color grading depth of field <laughs> you can focus on the right objects jesus christ new features that really Fo underline photos with filter movement that's so great about instagram pics you can control the wind's direction the speed you oh that's dope the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies you can even select so, a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting so and if you're you doing a photo, what? maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. And can you like automatically put them up on your social media? I guess not. Japanese voice track. Oh, so you could play in either English or Japanese. Ooh, am I gonna want to play this in strictly Japanese and make it very authentic? I the just Japanese might voice do that. Track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So yeah, I, I agree. Before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. I just might play this in all Japanese. Oh yes, this is yeah, this is my type of shit. I think I'm gonna play this in strict Japanese. I watch all my animes in Japanese anyways. Very rare that I watch it in, in like sub dubbed in English. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a I could tell. For you I could tell like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Okay, I don't want, I, 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 I understand why they did that and that's dope, but I'm not gonna play the game like that. I wanna see the colors, but I legit understand because I love my Japanese, like old school samurai movies and I get it. But I wanna see color in this bitch. Damn! Oh, this game, this game, this game! Can you say game of the year? I just might say game of the year here. Today, we've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've Tsushima! Also shared some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai. Not Tsushima! Or Tsushima! As a ghost, or customize Jin. Or play in special ways. Tsushima! Ghost of Tsushima! We have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank yep. you so much for watching. Instant buy for me. We'll see you later. I applaud you guys. I applaud you guys. Awesome! This game looks awesome! Cannot wait. It's Breath of the Wild, but Japanese and samurai and ninjas apparently. And if you never played uh, uh, Breath of the Wild, then Red Dead Redemption, but samurai. Alright. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop it here, okay? Okay. Oh my god. This game is the shit. Okay. Me that I love all like Asian culture and Japanese and samurai and ninjas. I don't know if you get to choose to play as a samurai or as a ninja. Or in the daytime you're a samurai and in the nighttime you're a ninja. Not really 100% sure on that. But that's badass because it's two different game styles. Or at least two different combats. 
wise, I guess. Uh, customation looks crazy. Uh, you could change the armor you're wearing by getting dye flowers. I don't know if it's if you have to find specific colors of the dye flowers, or um, you just get dye flowers and then you can put it in any color. I, if I had to guess, this game is so in detail that you have to get the specific dye color dye flower. So you have to find blue dye flower, or red dye flower, or yellow dye flower, or, or shit brown dye flower, whatever the case may be. Combat looks crazy, gameplay looks crazy, idea of the game looks crazy, it looks stunning. It looks like I'm watching, just like they say, an old school samurai showdown movie from Japan. From Japanese, I mean. Um, and I'm all in it. I'm, I'm in it. I'm buying it. It's a, it's a day one for me. I'm getting it. So, yeah. That's gameplay for Ghost of Tsushima. Not Tsushima, but Tsushima. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I know I did, okay? So, I'm going to end the video here. If you like this video... Give me the thumbs up, comment down below, and as always, please, 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 do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Gaming with Nimbus. Deuces.